I'm Gail Annis Porter. I'm the pastor of Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church, and I'm standing on the corner, or on our property on the corner of 108 and Linden Linthicum Lane, and I'm happy to welcome you today. I'm standing out here because I'm standing in front of a couple of signs. One is uh, an older sign, the cross and flame that's back here, which is the sign of the United Methodist Church. It's a little bit weathered, so I'm thankful for all of the people who have worshipped in this place for a long time. The one over my other shoulder is brand new, or brand new a uh, year or so ago. A couple of years ago, um, our church, which has always felt that we were very welcome to everyone, wanted to be really clear about that. Wanted people to know that in every way they were welcome in this place. It's one of our values as a church. One of our values is to demonstrate gracious hospitality that welcomes, values, and loves all. And we look to uh, scripture from Romans 15, verse 7, which says, Welcome each other in the same way that Christ also welcomed you for God's glory. We believe that God intends for everyone to be valued and to be seen as child of God, whether they profess Christian faith or not. And that's who we desire to be in this place. A couple of years ago, in the aftermath of... Uh, Charlottesville and all of the sadness about exclusive uh, ways that people were thinking about other human beings, we crafted a statement. And it says this, as followers of Jesus, we the people of Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church are committed to welcoming and loving everyone as he did, without regard to ability, race, ethnicity, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, family makeup, or religion. We embrace the principles of love over hate, inclusion over bias, respect over prejudice, equality over bigotry, and caring for all. Therefore, we reject the targeted hate messages and exclusivist ideologies advocated by any group. Such messages are antithetical to the inclusive love of Jesus. We are committed to living out non-discriminating love in our lives, worship, study, and service. That's who we want to be, and we know we're not perfect at it, but we keep working at it, and we keep thinking about it and talking about it, and we keep trying to demonstrate the kind of love that ha we have received in Christ to others. And so as I stand here, and I think about those who have worshipped here for a long time, and I think about the folks that we want to make sure are included today, I am praying that we will be the kind of witnesses that God has asked us to be, and that we will continue to love expansively as we have been loved. Amen.